So welcome back to our next tutorial in which we'll be discussing the next operation. Now let's go on to the next features. We are going to drill through these holes. Let's first of all see what hole size we need here. We can click on it on the bottom right, 375. So let's do that. We're going to go to our drilling operation, select our tool. We're going to do a spot drill first of all. There's nothing in the cutting. Here we go. So let's pick a one half 90 degree spot facing tool. Excellent. Geometry. Select our faces. We can select one. We don't have to select both. Picture there being a hundred holes. That would take a really long time. We can just select same diameter here and it will automatically pick that. So what you see right now is a representation of our tool driving right through our part. This would what was what would be cut out. So that's obviously no good. Let's go to heights and for our bottom height instead of selecting whole bottom which right now the tip of our tool is at the whole bottom we are going to pick chamfer width and now look at our tool is perfectly machining or spot facing right to our diameter but we want to add a little chamfer to it so let's do a 25 thou chamfer there we go and our cycle, we've got a drilling wrap it out. So it's just going to plunge right in and then back out, which this tool can handle it. So let's go. Okay. There we go. So this will show up red in our simulation. And that's because our chamfer is taking more stock than our model. So it's going to show up red, but that's fine. Now let's do our drilling cycle. I'm going to go back to drill select. We don't have a tool in the tool library. We don't have any drills in our tool library for fusion. So we're just going to create one. Let's do one real quick here. Drill. Great. Our diameter is going to be spot on and three eighths of an inch. This is really cool. If you don't know this, three divided by eight does a fraction as well. And it automatically shows our value, our decimal value after that. Let's just keep those. Everything's good. Every tool we make, it's going to do an increment of one for the next tool. So of course, if you already have this in your library and you have this assigned to tool 20 while well, your post processor will come up with the correct tool but in this instance we're not worrying about that let's select that now let's pick our geometry we can do the same thing we just did select same diameter but here for the heights our bottom height we don't want to go to the whole bottom we want to drill tip through bottom and now it's right to the corner of our drill so we're going to offset it minus 50 thou our cycle, what do we want? Drilling wrap it out just means it starts from the top, goes all the way to the bottom in one pass. We don't want that. We want chip breaking. Here we go, 93,000 pecking depth. Let's just keep that. You can change all of this as well according to what you want and what kind of tool you have. There we go. So now if we simulate it, there we go. So we're doing some pecking depths. It doesn't show every single a uh, peck that it does, but it will indeed do a correct, a correct pecking depth. So click on the top right of your screen to watch the next tutorial. See you then.